going on everyone we got my first review of 2019 so happy new year's to all you guys i'm so excited to be back talking some movies and talking about a film escape room that I actually thought the trailers looked pretty decent. The film had a great concept to it, and it looked to be a lot of fun. But my eye, God, I say, this is my favorite film of 2019 so far. And it's also my worst, because it is the only film I've seen so far that has come out in 2019. All jokes aside, what did I actually think about this film? Let me say this. This film is the equivalent of when you're about to have sex with a beautiful woman. And... You're getting there, you're right about to do it, and she's just like, oh, oh, my parents are home, I can't do it. <laughs> really what this equivalent of the film is, because for a majority of this film, I was actually about to give this film, like, a solid B. It is an entertaining actual film that actually had me kind of on the edge of my seat, and I have to give direction, like, props to the director for getting me on the edge of my seat and actually having me anticipating and wondering who's going to die, at least for the first couple scenes within the movie and with good performances and again a great great concept the escape rooms like when you're trying to put it into a horror texture it's it's a good concept you can you cannot deny that and again every performance in here is actually not that bad everyone does a decent enough job no one was annoying or overly abundantly annoying and in the film in general actually isn't as predictable with the characters and where you think their twist might go some of their stories are a little bit but overall when it comes to the character motivations and where their backgrounds go because you expect some sinister things and really there's not that many sinister things they really are just people and when you find out why they're in the room it actually wasn't like the most jaw-dropping thing but it was like oh okay I can see that happening. Even though the movie does get a little bit predictable story-wise not with the characters necessarily but where the story goes I was still enjoying it but again, like I said with that metaphor, I guess as you can call it, or allegory, whatever you want to say to it, the film itself just felt like it stopped trying. Or it felt like it was trying too hard to set up a franchise, set up something else to happen next. And that is exactly what this ending does. The last 20 minutes is some of the worst stuff, one of the worst climaxes, third acts that I've ever seen to a film. And I mean that wholeheartedly because this is a movie that, yeah, maybe we'll get a sequel. Maybe it was very cheap to make and people will go see it opening weekend and they'll make enough money. But that's not guaranteed in this world, and it just felt like the film was setting up to make this awesome next sequel. Pulled me so far out of the movie by the end, I was like, what are we doing now? This isn't what we were going through. This isn't what the film was. It got so huge. Like, the content and the idea and the world-building idea just shot out and, like, became over-unrealistic to me. Where it's the point where I was like... Am I watching like a spy film now? They even make a Jason Bourne reference by the end of this movie. No, I'm really rapping and ranting on this film, but really, again, the first two acts, the first act and a half at least, is like a solid B. Entertaining fun, some cheesy moments here and there, but you're still entertained. You're still kind of on the edge of your seat wondering what's going to happen. And even though it did get a little bit repetitive in the rooms, find this key, get the door open. Find this key, get the door open. Find this key, get the door open. It kept going in that same route and it kind of just got overly long doing that but still I was forgiving about it even though then I was like okay so the characters they really focus on are the ones that are gonna end up living to a certain extent okay I can understand oh that shot is very preclusive did that person actually die or did they live is there more that's gonna go on with that is it really possible that within a couple hours they would be able to fix all this and make it overly unrealistic but again I am overly a little bit mad at this film just a teeny bit and again and it makes me feel like I was blue ball throughout the whole entire movie by the time I had gotten to the ending. Before we get to my final thoughts, guys, make sure to consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, check out Sandwich on Films also down below where you guys can get into advanced movie screens like Glass, which is coming up. I'm really excited about that film. And even The Upside. But again, what are my final thoughts on this film? Great concept. Actually, solid directing. And with good acting in here, it makes the film entertaining at least till the back half where it's hard for me to recommend this film because I don't know if we're going to get a sequel. It feels like it's just setting up for a franchise and this isn't what films should do this isn't the mcu this is escape room it should have been a basic concept showing what's going to happen having that cool twist at the end and the film ends quite a few times i don't know if the ending was made in reshoots or if because of good positive buzz or whatnot i have no idea what happened with the ending there were multiple times where this film could have ended i would have been felt satisfied and i would have walked out saying hey that was a nice fun film but at this point in time it's hard for me to tell you to rush out to the theater to watch this movie this is more of a movie that I think if I would have found on Netflix later on, I would have been like, oh, that was a solid 
fun thriller. I don't know what happens next, but hey, and I am very disappointed by the ending. It, it turns out to be terrible. It feels very rushed and mundane, and it just ends up being a normal thriller that could have been more. It was definitely a fun thriller for the first few acts, and then it just pff, died out. Blue balled me, teased me to all ends, and really ends up being kind of a disappointment. I didn't expect much from this movie, but the way that the film starts up, well, not the first scene. The first scene's actually pretty bad. But as the film started up, and when you enter that first room, it's really interesting. And the cinematography in the world and the set design was great, but just puttered off and again. Feels like when you're at a girl's house and she's like, oh, my parents are home, I gotta go. Great concept, good acting, but again, I felt blue balled throughout the whole entire thing. So with all that said, I'm going to give Escape Room a C-. minus. know what your guys' thoughts are on Escape Room down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. If you guys liked it more than me, were you not pissed off about the ending? Maybe you were. I can't wait to talk with you guys about Escape Room. Let's discuss it down below. And guys, of course, until next time, make sure to that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. <laughs> we <laughs>